Hey, what is up guys? It's Uncle Kobe, and I know I said I was going to be covering the snipers today, and uh, I guess I lied. You can call me a phony or whatever. You're a phony! <laughs> but here's the reason why. Last night, I saw Team Martin's video talking about the new and improved crossbow, and man, it looks so sick. If any of you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. I'll put a link down below, uh, because that just, man, they just made it so badass looking. But yeah, so I want to go over the launchers while I'm still all giddy with excitement about them. So starting off, we have the SMAW, or the small, which was an MW3. It is a rocket launcher, so it is going to have that lower mobility rate, one identical to that of the LMGs as well, and uh, that will be true for all three of the rocket launchers in this game. It has solid stats across damage range and accuracy, but what obviously sets this gun apart is the ability to be either a vehicle lock-on or a free-fire launcher, so you are going to have that ability to effectively use it to kill enemies or take out enemy air support. As of right now, you only get a single rocket, but I still think it's going to be an awesome launcher to use because it will fit any playstyle. So next we got the FHJ-18AA. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of those long names, but I am a fan of this launcher. Uh, this was actually the launcher that was shown in the multiplayer reveal trailer, and as you can see, it just looks freaking sweet, man. Uh, just the looks alone make me want to use this thing. You know, just that futuristic style of it, and I don't know, it just looks sick. And the stats are pretty good too. The damage range and accuracy are all maxed out to the highest level in the game. And the reason for that is because it is a vehicle lock-on only, so that is the one downfall of it. But if you are a team player that actually makes an effort to take out enemy air support, this launcher is for you. It shoots the rocket crazy fast and is really, really powerful. Uh, I know it takes out almost every kind of air support with one rocket. Uh, I think the two exceptions are the AGR, which is that robot thing, and the warship, which is the new chopper gunner. But you do get two rounds, so with that, you will definitely be able to take out any kind of air support. Moving on, we have that old reliable RPG. And man, this thing is a legend in itself already. It's been in almost every COD up to date. But in Black Ops 2, they changed the look of it a little, but in a good way, I think. As you can see, it looks way more futuristic, not that normal dull brown rocket. But even though the looks change, it's still that same powerful launcher. Same as the past, it is a free fire with no vehicle lock on. And this launcher caters to more rushing type players. Uh, because it is the least accurate, especially as the range is increased. But up close, this has the biggest splash damage radius, so you guys can get your quads or whatever else you crazy kids do nowadays. Again, I'm just happy they brought it back, and I just wouldn't feel like Call of Duty without it. So last, but certainly not least, is the new crossbow. Uh, here's a clip from Team Art's video. Again, I suggest you go check it out if you haven't, because man, this thing just looks so sweet. Uh, Cherik did a fantastic job with keeping it a crossbow, uh, but making it look more badass and just you know, overall just look awesome. Uh, but as far as some of the details, it has a six round capacity now, which makes it actually more effective to use rather than just using it for the fun of it. Uh, so that's good. It also has attachments for it now. Uh, there's one that allows you to shoot like three rounds at a time, which I was thinking would be awesome if you could land like all three in the same guy and watch him do that little run around in a circle maneuver thing that people do when they get stuck by things. I always think that's funny. Uh, but there's also scopes for it. So if you montage guys, you know, can have like a little quick scoping crossbow clips. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool as well. But again, sorry I skipped the snipers. I was just super pumped for these launchers. And I pinky pinky promise that next video um, that I do like this will be about the snipers. So you can get a good look at all of those. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please take the time to leave it a rating. My last four videos have just gotten some awesome ratings. And I want to thank you guys for that. Uh, for two videos that you may have missed, on the left is a video I uploaded yesterday regarding some pretty important information uh, about the score streaks that I'm pretty surprised no one has talked about yet. And on the right is a breakdown of the submachine guns that will be in Black Ops 2. So check those out if you want. Uh, if you're new and like my stuff, hit that subscribe button in the top left. But anyways, thanks for watching. This was Uncle Kobe. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.